It's October 24th, Tuesday morning, and you are listening to the Khan Baba. Welcome everyone. Wherever you're tuned in from and, we love you and we're glad you're here. Let, start the today information. I do not think the government gives a crap about dinar holders because the average dinar holder holds 250,000 dinars. That is it. Sure if an RV happened tomorrow there would be a lot of rich people but just think about a lot of those lotto winners, they win all this money and then all of a sudden they lose it all within the year. Most people would spend it quickly. It would give a huge jump to our economy and they do not care because the money would just go right back to them. I don't think they care that much. There is a lot of confusion about whether these banks in Iraq are on sanction and how it is affecting the exchange rate. The reality of US sanctions on Iraqi banks. I've seen articles where they say these banks are under sanctions but if you go to the official website they're not listed there so it's like a gray area. They are under sanctions but they are not officially under sanctions. It's like putting them in a timeout is what it is. The decision to collect fees in Iraqi dinars at border crossings is an important decision aimed at preserving the hard currency and also straightening the Iraqi dinar. They have a goal of stop using the dollar and using the Iraqi dinar at the customs borders. Everybody should be clicking their ruby slippers because that's going to be a lot money. A lot of revenues are going to come through those borders. Any party that does not adhere to this decision will be subject to punishment. They are getting strict. Major powerful countries are coming into Iraq. It's going to affect their currency exchange rate. More than anything else it will rocket their float. And that when you have to be very astute. Watch it. You've got to watch the rate in the float. Know when to hold them and know when to fold them. Know when to back off. The beginning of January there will be no more use of the US dollar. That should be a major plus for their Iraqi dinar. It shouldn't take very long after that and we should start seeing some increases in the Iraqi dinar exchange rate. When at the currencies that we know about, things are moving along nicely with those. They're trading upward. We know that the dinar is continuing to do well. Dong has been up and down. It is really good to see these things taking place. Iraqi rate is going to 1000. Next is 1 to 1. Then the CBI will give an in-country rate. Followed by an international rate approved by the US. The unlock. Codes arrived on Fry. The 20th of October. From the World Bank. Thank you and take care.